So in this video, I wanted to do a comparison of two very cool ballpoint pens, and that is the Roachring 600, which I've featured in a number of videos, and the Roachring Rapid Pro. Uh, the Roachring 600 is sort of the original classic Roachring, but it was not on sale for a long time. Uh, it kind of went out of stock while the Rapid Pro sort of filled in the gap during that time. I'm not sure the exact history on uh, when each was available, but the uh, Rapid Pro has been a standby while the Roachring 600 was uh, very expensive and very rare. But now they're both available. The Roachring 600 for about $30 and the Rapid Pro also for about 30, though I've been seeing it go on sale a lot uh, for $19.99. So, uh, there's a good chance you'll be able to find the Rapid Pro for $10 cheaper or uh, one third cheaper than the Roachring 600. Uh, they are online, if you look at them, really similar and it could be difficult to figure out why you'd buy one or the other. Uh, so I wanted to do this video. And just, just to put this out there from the very start, from a feature standpoint, there's no clear reason to buy one or the other. They are very similar. but uh, And that's just on paper. But if uh, they're actually in the hand and you're using them, there are some notable differences. So first of all, we'll take a look at the Rapid Pro, then we'll do the Roachring 600, and then we'll do some comparisons. So all metal body, Roachring logo, Rapid Pro in gray, very low key, very cool. Nice click action, Roachring iconic red band here. And then we see this tip a nice clean knurling, taper, taper to the ballpoint. Smooth opening because it's plastic. So it's metal on plastic, which uh, is a very smooth fit. No noises, very easy action. Inside, we see a uh, standard Roachring 1.0 millimeter. That's just their ballpoint refill. So it's a Parker G2 style refill. And then there's a spring in the front. Have to line that up. And again, super clean because it's on plastic. Maybe you have concerns about durability there. I've never like broken one of these half, but uh, you know, maybe that is not ideal for you. And then uh, lastly, we have the shape. So we can see it has uh, hex, it's a hexagonal pen, so six sides, but it is uh, sort of rounded. So basically, there's a sort of uh, convex shape to each of the sides, and you could see it there, how it's six sides, six equal sides, in fact, but they are convex, so rounded sides. Okay, now the Roachring 600. I've talked about this pen many, many times but in case you missed those videos, also also full metal construction, metal button, metal knurled uh, piece here, red Roachring ring, same metal clip, Roachring 600 in red instead of gray, so it's a little bit more in your face. Nice knurling, and the knurling was improved between the uh, original models and then this model, which is the re-release, and then a very simple blunt front end and you can see uh, the simplicity of the 600 which is in fact the older design clean action good click in fact i like to click better on the roachring 600 but that's just my preference opening it up you hear that squeakiness that squeakiness is coming from metal on metal it's not a problem uh, and there's no uh difficulty to doing it but uh, it, you do hear some squeakiness. Spring in the front end, and also a Parker G2 style refill. This one's shipped with that same refill, the Roachring 1.0 millimeter. I've since replaced it with this Visconti, but uh, the fact of the matter is a, you can put anything in there because it, they both use a Parker G2 style refill. Definitely some squeaking. That tends to go away as the pen gets older, uh, and everything is a little bit more worn in, but it will never go away entirely because what happens is this 
piece is under pressure from the spring. So if there's pressure outward and you're turning, that's gonna result in friction on the, uh, on the threads, which can lead to some squeaking. It's not a huge deal, but it is present. Okay, we have a good overview of each pen now, and we see some of the pieces are very similar and there are some subtle differences. So as far as like similarities, we see metal clip, same design, open back, so it's springed or sprung steel holding it on in place. You could actually remove it, but it's on really tight. And you can see here, open back. Biggest single difference between the two is the size. The Rotring, the Rapid Pro is a larger pen. I, I never knew that until I actually got them both in my hand. I always assumed they were the same size, uh, but having seen them in person, uh, you can, or having seen this video now, you could see that the Rapid Pro is a fair bit larger. And not only is it a little bit longer, right? It's, uh, this is a half inch, so it's uh, more than a quarter inch longer. It also has a larger diameter. So it's a little bit, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna line up the front edges here and you could see the diameter of the Rapid Pro is greater than that of the Rotring 600. So if the, one of the number one complaints with the 600 is that it's a small pen, not really lengthwise, people tend to be okay with that, but the diameter of the grip is small and that is completely true. If that's a problem for you and you find yourself moving towards a Tiki or one of the larger Rotring Pros, uh, Rotring pens, you definitely want to check out the Rapid Pro. You're looking at an extra few millimeters of diameter here, which is going to add to comfort for most people. Even if you don't have huge hands, it's generally more comfortable. Moving along on the differences. So you see the front end that I pointed out before. The uh, Rapid Pro has the more complicated front end. I think it's a little bit nicer looking. I appreciate that the 600 has a very clean design, but it's like it's always struck me as being a little bit blunt. It, it makes me feel like this pen was designed to be the 800, which where this piece right here, this uh, this conical piece, is uh, or this like pipe area that actually extends from the body, and the Rotring 800 only has this angled piece. Uh, so the 600 seems like an afterthought compared to the 800 to me. Uh, I'm not sure if that's actually true or not, but it's how it seems. Whereas on the Rapid Pro, you could see that it is a uh, kind of a larger and more sturdy looking design. The knurling is essentially the same. Uh, I wouldn't expect there to be any huge difference. The only reason I point that out is because on the original Rotring 600s, uh, you know, the ones from like 15, 20 years ago, the knurling wasn't as good and it was uh, just wasn't as clean and it got sort of mushed down looking compared to the newer ones. So the grip wasn't as good. Roaching 600 also has a smaller grip area, so less diameter, but also less height. Roaching Rapid Pro has the red band here, uh, but the trade-off for that red band is that it has a, a large and potentially important plastic part right here. Again, I don't see that as being a major problem, but uh, I could see it. Someone saying that is a downside. Then we have the shape of the body. You have the curved hexagon, hexagon versus the flat hexagon. That is, uh, I would say, just personal preference. Then what appears to be the same clip. Uh, I think they probably just used the same tooling and the same clip and just compensated for the smaller diameter of the Roaching 600. <clears throat> Sorry. Logo, gray versus red. So again, just personal preference. I think the gray uh, sort of understated. It looks pretty cool. At the top here, we have the Roaching 600 in the knurling. It's worth pointing out that the original one, the knurling actually spun and had a color indicator, 
with the new version, they got rid of that. It was probably just an unnecessary expense with uh, pretty much zero value added. Then we have that Rotring red ring. They usually put that on every one of their products. Here it's towards the grip. On the 600, it is at the top. And then the buttons are the same, as far as I could tell. Maybe slightly more throw on the Rapid Pro. And if you wanna hear the click, here's the Rapid Pro. And the 600. A little bit cleaner on the 600, but essentially the same. So there you have it, the Roachering 600 versus the Roachering Rapid Pro. Uh, just to give my opinion here, if you're looking for a very cool, iconic pen that's gonna sit on your desk and look amazing, and you're gonna use it you know, fairly often, but not for hours and hours at a time, the Roachering 600 is the way to go. This is the icon, it's the Roachering, full stop. If you're looking for a pen to actually use a lot, and do a ton of note taking or write all day or anything like that, then uh, you wanna pick up the Rapid Pro. It is more comfortable, I would say, uh, maybe not better balance, but it's definitely better handling. I like the large diameter. I actually like the larger size. Uh, the rounded parts mean just more comfortable. And then uh, the fact that you can get these for $19.99, means uh, if you're actually gonna take it with you and there's a chance of losing it, uh, I'd rather lose or break or you know give away or whatever a 19 or a $20 pen than a $30 pen. So there you have it, the Roachring 600 versus the Rapid Pro. Thanks for watching.